Now to a cheating scandal so bizarre most fans will be amazed a team even tried it. Fossil Ridge High School in Fort Collins has a top-ranked softball team. Well, now its coaches are suspended after asking players to switch jerseys during a game so stronger hitters could get up to bat. Happened against Mountain Range High, and Karen Morford is there tonight. And Karen, that team was shocked when it figured out what happened. Jim, we spoke with parents of players here at Mountain Range, and they say that this was a hard-fought game that they actually ended up losing in extra innings to the number two team in the state. Now, Fossil Ridge has actually uh, forfeited that win, but many here are questioning whether it was theirs to begin with. The Mountain Range softball team took the field Thursday night, many of them just learning that a game against Fossil Ridge over the weekend hadn't gone quite like it played out. Parents say it weighed heavy on everyone. She was pretty shocked. She thought highly of the program, that they wouldn't do anything like that. According to the Colorado High School Athletic Association, also known as CHASA, Fossil Ridge played an ineligible player and then tried to cover it up by asking their players to switch jerseys in the dugout. When school administrators learned about the incident, they reported it to the state and have since suspended those coaches for the rest of the year. The team forfeited that win, but Mountain Range parents say it's left a black eye on the game. I kind of trust the coaches and the parents and hope that they do things right for the kids. It ruins the integrity of the game. Now, we did reach out to Fossil Ridge's athletic director as well as their principal. We have not received any comment back to our emails or calls. A CHASA spokesperson says that they will ultimately make the decision on whether or not that disciplinary action handed down by the school is enough or whether or not more needs to be done. We're live tonight in Westminster. Karen Morfitt covering Colorado First.